before uh, I went to Dubai and dealing with a lot of customers on the phone, one of their biggest worries is actually it's going to be very expensive while I'm there, is, is it a good value for money? Um, if you were to compare it to the same standard of hotels and quality of service to just about any other country within Europe, especially with the exchange rates, it's just as good value for money. Um, and the service and the quality of food that you'd get in Dubai surpasses most of the, the uh, good five-star and four-star hotels that you would get in Europe anyway. So it's definitely value for money. In terms of budget, um, the best time to go it is during their low season, which is during their summer. The summer runs from June to August and uh, the hotels it costs literally half of normally they would cost. We feature holidays where we offer complimentary half board and free nights accommodation and during peak time summer holidays when families are looking to get away and looking for a bargain um, we also offer deals where kids stay and eat for free as well which I think is very good value for money. Whatever your personal preference is for your holiday you can, you can find it. You can stay in self-catering, bed and breakfast, half board and there's some more inclusive hotels over there as well. We sell a property called the Hilton Dubai Jumeir Residences which are apartments but you can still use all the facilities of the Hilton Dubai Jumeir. So you've got the added benefit of having an apartment to stay in, but still using facilities of a top five-star hotel. For families going to Dubai, um, attractions are, can actually be very cheap. Certainly if you're staying in one of the hotels that has free access to the water parks, that's free every day for the kids. Um, also in the Dubai Mall, there's Kidzania and Sega Republic, which are actually quite cheap if you compare it to say going to Florida where for the theme parks you've got to pay hundreds of um, pounds for the, the passes. There, there is loads there to do. You've got Dubai Creek and the Gold Souks, you can go and barter if you want. You've got trips out into the desert as well, your desert safaris and they'll do like all your belly dancing and the, the local songs and bits and pieces like that. A lot of people they have a conception that the food in Dubai if you need to eat out is actually quite expensive. Dubai however has such diverse number of restaurants, you can very well have a meal that would cost equivalent to five, ten pounds or a meal that would cost 200 pounds per person. Whatever budget you're working on, restaurant wise, bar wise, you've, there's so many different deals. I spoke to somebody today who has just come back from a holiday that we've booked and he wanted to book a holiday for next year. It's just one of those places that once you go, you want to go there time and time again.